Welcome back all you fragrance fanatics and beauty babes. I've got my puppies here with me today. It is beautiful outside. I hope that you all are having a wonderful day. We're gonna be talking about some, some perfume news and some updates, some different things, some new perfumes I bought, what I'm planning on buying, um, some things I'm gonna be decluttering. So let's get started. Penelope decided to leave. She did not want to be a part of this video today, but I do have Derby over here and Sadie is, she's having a lazy day today. First up, we're gonna be talking about Elizabeth Arden is coming out with a new flanker to the green tea line, which, you know, I love the original. Um, it's just one I've never picked up, but you know, I really enjoy it. This one, however, makes me wanna grab it up. Um, partly because of what's in it and partly because of the packaging. This one is called Green Tea Coconut Breeze. And it says here, it's not even on Fragrantica yet. It might be when this video is uploaded, I'm not sure, but for now it's not. But it says here that it awakens your senses to Green Tea's new Coconut Breeze, citrus floral and fruity fragrance. This energy inducing tropical scent uplifts with notes of salted coconut, coconut shaving delight, green tea accord. We got white amber, musk, and oak moss. So those seem, that seems right up my alley. And the bottle looks so, it just puts me in the mood for summertime. And this retails for around the 30 to $40 range, I'm seeing it. Um, uh, you know, a couple different prices. So I, I, you know, but in general, I'm saying around like $30, $40 range is what I'm seeing. And the original green tea, I think you can pick that up on Amazon for like $16. So the next one we're going to talk about is Paco Raban, Raban, I can never pronounce that name right. Um, for those of you who are fans of Olympia, I know that there's some people out there that really love the, the, um, original Olympia. They are coming out with a new... Olympia. This one, so so the original says it's solar and sensual. Then there's the Olympia floral, which is floral and sensual. Then the Olympia solar, which is solar and intense. And then this new one is called Olympia parfum. And it says that it's ambery and hypnotic. It says that there's Green notes, some clary sage, pink pepper, jasmine absolute, rose absolute, orange blossom, benzoin musk, and vanilla. Um, I I wish I could enjoy this line. I really do. And and if you are a fan of the Olympia, please like I I'm so happy that you love it. I just it's just not for me. Um, so if you're a fan of this line, what do you think about this new perfume coming out? Is this something that you all are excited about? Um, I would love to know in the comment section. Next up, we're going to be talking about some perfumes that I have, um, I need to give you all some updates on, things that I've changed my mind about. And the first one we need to go over, Camera. You guys, this is no joke. Like, Wow. So a little bit of backstory. I bought this way early last year. And this was before people were posting videos about Middle Eastern perfumes. I mean, I guess there was some people out there, but it wasn't like it is now. where like, everyone's talking about the Middle Eastern perfumes. They're so popular now. This was like kind of right before that. And I picked it up and I didn't know that this particular Latafa is known, not all their perfumes, but, but they're mainly known, it, it's known that you have to let this sit and kind of macerate. I didn't know that at the time. And I just thought, you know, I gave it a sniff. I, I put it on my arm and I'm like, there's just something weird in this. I don't really like this. This was a cheap perfume anyway. I'm just going to give this to my daughter, you know, whatever. And then I forgot about it. And then all of the hype started to come with the Middle Eastern perfumes. And so then I started to buy some more different Middle Eastern perfumes and try them out. And I'm like, wow, these are really good. 
These are amazing quality. Yes, they're inexpensive, but they are amazing. So then I went back to Kamra and I smelt it again. And I was like, wow, this is stunning. This is a masterpiece, you guys. This is, this is fall time in a bottle. This is the most perfect fall time, early winterish type of scent. Absolutely perfect. I don't, I don't know why I, I did not like this for so long. It could be because I needed to macerate, but, but this is amazing. And I am so sad that I have to wait till, I mean, I don't have to wait till fall time, but it will perform better in the fall. But I'm so sad that like now it's spring and summertime, so I can't really wear this technically. But, um, but it, but you know, and you know what else? I thought my bottle was broken, the lid. I didn't realize this. Okay, so I, the top part, the gold piece fell off because I, I was ripping it open. And so I broke mine on my own, thinking that this was just messed up. I did not realize this, but you have to twist, then pop it open. I just thought you just pull it up. So when I was doing that, I was, I, I had broken it. Um, so if you do pick up a bottle of this, make sure you twist, then pull up. Apparently it's supposed to help your bottle, not from you know, breaking or whatever. Um, but yeah, I am so glad I kept this one in my daughter's room. So I had to, so I had to trade her a couple of my little perfumes. Like we, we trade perfumes every now and, then, and I had to trade her some of my stuff, uh, to get this one back in my collection. <laughs> Um, and I wanted to add it to my Middle Eastern, it was going to be a part of my Middle Eastern um, video that I had made. And it completely just, I don't know, just slipped my mind. I have no idea why. But um, but this one is amazing. And I have ordered the flanker to this. Even though I'm not necessarily a fan of coffee in perfumes, I'd like to try it out. Because it's, it's inexpensive, so, you know, I'm not out much. I'd like to give it a try because I think, I feel like I might like it. We'll see. But I'm real excited to get that in. And then another one that I wanted to bring up was this one here, this um, Terraqua. This has definitely, um, it's macerated now completely. It's, it's definitely settling in its own I for sure still get reminiscence of the original scandal in this because of the honey and the caramel that is extremely reminiscent of scandal. But now this is starting to become its own a little bit more as it dries down because I'm getting a little bit more spiciness and a little bit more of that leather just like I wanted. I was hoping that it would get to the, and, and it is. It's finally, it's gotten to that point because that's what I wanted. I didn't want just this caramel, sickly sweet with honey. You know, I, I wanted some, I wanted some depth to it and, and now it has it and it's, it's perfect now. It's perfect. I, I'm, I'm obsessed with this at the moment. <laughs> Look at Derby all spread out like that. Oh my gosh, she's so funny. She's like snoring in the back. I don't know if you can hear it. But she's snoring and she's like spread out across the bed. <laughs> oh, French Bulldogs are so funny the way that they lay like that. So the next one we're going to talk about is one that I wasn't sure about at first. Well, I bought it thinking I would love it. And then it came in and I was like, eh, you know, eh, we'll see. But now, now I, I, it's... Um, it's growing on me. I can't say it's a full-on love love, but it's growing on me. It's getting better. This is the Adol Aurora. And this one has like the salt, rose, bergamot, jasmine, bourbon, vanilla, musk, heliotrope. And when I was first spraying this, the first few times, it was just salty. It was just, there wasn't anything sweet. There wasn't any, anything else I could smell in it. It was just the salt. That's all I could smell. A uh, musky salt. And I was like, I don't know about this. I don't know about this, you guys. But now that it's sit for a while, it, I definitely pick up more on the sweetness. That, that bourbon vanilla in there. Um, I'm, I'm definitely picking up more of that sweet. And, and that's exactly what I want. I want a little bit of sweet with that salty. 
and I'm thinking this is gonna do really good in the summertime. Like I said, I can't say this is a full on love yet, but I, I didn't give up on it and I've been trying it again and I'm, I'm liking what I'm smelling. I'm liking what I'm smelling. Next up, I wanna talk to you guys about a new perfume I just purchased about a month ago. This one is called Strawberry Moon by Sniff. And this has no strawberry in it. So don't even, there's no strawberry, get that out of your mind. <laughs> this one has saffron, amberwood, leather, jasmine, pink pepper, bergamot, iris, and vetiver. And this one is very powdery, spicy, sexy leather. And then there's that wooden jasmine there. And I bought this specifically as a layering tool because there are a lot of different perfumes that are super sweet that I want to add a little bit of spiciness and leatheriness to it to kind of, you know, sex it up a bit. And this on its own is, is, <laughs> um, she's a dirty girl, let me tell you. Uh, not literally like smells like dirt, but you know what I mean. Um, this is extremely sexual smell, but I, I, so I don't plan on really wearing it on its own, but when you pair it up with other things, like when you add this to, let's say for instance, Cherry Ambition, you're going to get, you still get that sweet, tart, juicy cherry and those marshmallows and, and it does have a leathery base, but I was, but, I, but this will make it even more like deep leather and spiciness and um I don't know just add a little sexiness to it and um so that, that so that's what I bought it for and we'll see how it works I'm still I'm still playing around with it and seeing but I think this is going to be a really good layering tool next up we're going to be talking about a perfume that I am really disappointed in and I'm also sick I'm so sick that I paid what I did for this Okay, so we need to talk about Gucci Flora. This is the Gorgeous Gardenia. This is a beautiful scent, this is beautiful. I had gotten some sample sizes of the, the Flora Gorgeous line, tried them all out. My favorite was this one because it's got that pear blossom, red berries, mandarin. We've got Gardenia, Jasmine. Phalangia Pani, br the brown sugar, and patchouli, brown sugar. That's what kind of set this one over the edge for me because this one is, the other the other ones that, that they're creamy as well, especially that, that coconut milk one. I think it's the, um, I can't remember which one it is, the gorgeous something. That one has a coconut or coconut milk. It's very creamy, but it's not as sweet as this one. This one is got that brown sugar and it smells so good. And then it's got that creamy element to it along with the florals. And it makes it almost like, and as it dries down, it becomes like this sweet, creamy, um, clean lotion type of vibe. And, and I really love this. Like I said, I had the small bottles. Th they were dabber ones, like ones you have to like actually dab on your skin. They weren't sprayers or rollers or anything like that. Smelt it, loved it. I, I thought it perform. I you know, I thought it did great with performance and everything. So that's why I bought the full bottle. I bought this specifically for spring, thinking it would be a big hit. I'm so disappointed because after about. 10 minutes, this is gone, gone from my skin. Cannot smell it. Other people, I've had other people smell me. They can't smell it on me. It, within 10 minutes, it's gone. Like, I don't even understand. Like that's, so I'm so mad at myself for paying what I did for this 50 mil bottle of something that just does not last on my skin at all. So new rule of thumb. Because it, I had I'd come up with these new rules for 2024 to help me um, not end up with full bottles of stuff that I don't even like and then have to get rid of. And, you know, then it's just such a waste of money. And so I came up with a rule that I was going to do sample sizes first for the majority of them. And then if I liked them, then I would buy full bottles. Well, now I'm going to have to come up with a new rule 
it cannot be like dapper ones or even roll on. I feel like you cannot experience the perfume in its entirety unless it's in a spray form. So you can mist it all out over you and really get the whole experience of the perfume. Um, so from now on, it needs to be some sort of spray sample thing so that I can, I can better understand and better know if I want to buy a full bottle. Um, so, you know, it's a learning experience. And, and I, I, I won't say, I'm not getting rid of this yet because it could be that maybe it just needs to sit for a season or two, maybe. And so I'm gonna, I'm gonna let it sit and maybe it will um, get a little bit stronger and last longer with time. Uh, I hope so, but we'll see. So next up, I wanna show you all some perfumes that I'm planning on letting go of. First up is the Tonka Cola. This one is um, just too much patchouli for me. I can't handle it. I wish I loved this, but I just don't. And I've got a full bottle here and I still got the box. So I might as well make a little money off of this and, and cut my losses, you know? <laughs> and then same thing with, okay, so I've got the Sparkling Lychee and the Yummy Pistachio. Y yum pistachio yum wait wait what yum pistachio gelato oh my God. the paris corner pistachio kahar that one it smells just like this it's got all the things i love about this but it doesn't have that soapiness to it so i, I so i prefer that one better i'm going to grab towards that one better versus this one now i will say if you do like more clean scents and then maybe you would prefer this one over the other one because this one does have like a um it's a gourmand but it's like a done in a clean way and if that's your vibe that's great um no disrespect for anyone that, that loves this perfume i i used to love it there for a while but then i started to get that soapiness but it's just you know i i feel like I don't know, it's a beautiful bottle, you guys, but I've got the box here, I've got all the stuff here. You know, I might as well just, you know, at least it, what I wanna do is put this money towards a perfume that I really love, you know, versus just having a couple of perfumes I like, just staying in my collection because I like them. I'd, I'd rather buy something I love. So that's why I'm also getting rid of the sparkling lychee. I don't dislike this. This has, um, it's a very effervescent, sparkly, girly, bubbly. Uh, it smells kind of like a sweet gummy bear there at the beginning. And it's just, it's, it's very nice, but it's, it's not one I gravitate towards. It's not one that I love. It's just kind of a like, and I have some other ones that when I'm looking for this type, this particular type of scent, there's there's other ones that I gravitate towards more. So I'm planning on letting this one go as well. And like I said, that way I can put that money towards a perfume that I love, like absolutely love. And so that is all I have for you today. I would love to know all your guys' thoughts on what we talked about in the comment section. And if no one has told you today, you are doing a great job and I am so proud of you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye. Did you have a good little nappy nap? Did you have a good little nap? Say bye everybody. Bye everybody.